Welcome to the Climate Council's speedy explanation of the Paris Climate Conference. On November 30, the City of Love will become the Conference of Parties of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Actually, COP21, the Paris Climate Change Talks. More than 190 nations are attending, and if all goes well, we'll have a new global agreement on climate change. We know you've heard this before. World leaders meet to agree on something and end up not agreeing. But this time, it's different. Really? Because this time, countries had to submit their targets to reduce pollution months before the conference began. Some 164 countries have put in place renewable targets, and 39 countries have a carbon price. This is creating a huge swell of momentum around the world. On one side, scientists and the community have been fighting for climate action. On the other side, fossil fuel giants have been fighting against them, with politicians getting lobbied heavily. But lately, the climate action team has been winning, with the big guys like Jinping, Obama and Merkel promising significant reductions. But we should remember that conferences like COP21 don't cause change, they mark it. The real change has already been happening in cities, streets and homes. Coal prices are plummeting, and over a quarter of the world's generating capacity already comes from renewables. There is real momentum building ahead of the Paris Climate Conference, and when we look back, it will have been an important step to tackling climate change.